All right, guys, welcome back to K Drop and Gems. I will be doing Capricorn, Capricorn collectively, Sun Moon Rising, Sun Moon Rising for Korean Finance, the second and fifth house. Cappies, what's going on? For well, my Cappies, mid May 2019. What's going on for my Cappies? What information do I have for my Cappies at this time? All right, I'm gonna take these cards, Spirit. Cappies, Korean finances, collectively. Collectively. All right. Collectively here. All right. So, my cappies. All right. So, I definitely feel like there's a need for you guys to take some type of rest. I do feel like you guys can be doing a lot of different things here, and that may cause you the subconscious thoughts may be to worry or to stress or to think that you're not good enough or something isn't going the way that it needs to. No, don't think that. Don't think and lack. Don't stop. Don't like scare yourself. Okay. Your ego wants to try and creep you out. Excuse me. It's going to want to try and keep you all. It's going to want to tell you, no, you couldn't do this. No, you shouldn't do that, etc., etc., right? I definitely feel like you guys are very abundant, very focused on your foundation. Y'all seeing the money, entrepreneurs, small business owners, okay? I definitely feel like, yeah, like I said, you have Mars, Mars, Mercury, and Capricorn. You have a second and fifth house in Capricorn. Baby, the money's here. You guys are getting the money. Y'all getting the accolades. This might cause some type of upset where someone around you might be jealous or might be upset because of your success here. Okay, or this may be emotionally a mother figure, maternal figures, people around you might not be happy with the decision that you're making. I feel like you're juggling two things, but you're doing it the way that you need to. Money might be tight as of right now, or this might be a, a change in finances. Especially if you, if you guys have chosen to go solo or to do things on your own. There's a change in your finances, and it's causing, causing a wish fulfillment. Aquarius, okay? You are also balancing between your mind, body, and soul, your physical and your spiritual realm. You're going to take, you're taking, um, you're being led by spirit. You're taking the, the necessary breaks that you need to here. This is definitely. All right. Sorry, guys. So the eight of swords definitely talks about, um. After you receiving some type of wish fulfillment in finances, in career, okay, in your day-to-day day, day, -to -day activities, this can definitely be like um, a goal that you're trying to meet, okay? I feel like you might be feeling stuck or bound to a situation here, but I feel like it's just a need of you to communicate. I feel like it's a need for you to look at things from a different perspective, for a need for you to communicate how you want to, and you do. You communicate that you want things to happen a certain way here. The Knight of Swords is definitely someone that is aggressive and forthright. So I feel like if it's if it has to do with a job interview, all right, you guys are like, look, I'm getting the job. I know I got the job, all right? If this is you with clients and business here, I definitely feel like you guys are very, like, um, business-minded, okay, stable, secure, okay? People coming to you know that you're very knowledgeable about what you're doing as well, Cappy, all right? So don't worry about your money. Your money is fine, all right? Juggle things the way that you that it needs to, whether it's a business and a job, two jobs here, two businesses or two um, ways of making income here. So Capricorn, you and your boo. What's going on for you and your boo, Cappies? I love this nature outside. You guys can also be getting some type of flowers. Um, flower. Flowers are going to be um, comforting to you at this time, okay? I think a lot, I feel like a lot of you guys as well will definitely be coming to terms with self, mind, body, and soul, loving your solitude as well. I have major Capricorn placements here, all right? So, Cappy, you and your boo, you and your boo, you and your boo, Cappy, what's going on? You and your boo. You and your boo, Cappy, what's going on? You and your boo. You and your boo, Cappy, what's going on? All right. I just want to be a little bit more nosy. 
see what's going on. All right. So copies definitely take the the rest that you need to God and Goddess breaks. You guys can be dealing with a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, like yourself. I definitely feel like there's um, focus. Or there's a new offer that you guys could have could have rejected here. I feel like because you guys were protective or you guys are really focused on something totally different here for some of you. I do feel like um, whoever is in your life is very protective or you're very protective over them. There's a lot of new energy around. Um, this can be a new new energy for you guys to explore. Um, to explore your heart space, right? The fool talks about a new opportunity and love. I definitely feel like you guys are needed to make logical decisions instead of emotional ones because I feel like because of this new energy, you guys may be pulled to make some type of irrational decision here. All right, make um, make the logical decision. Step out of step out of the situation. Look at things from a bigger perspective. Cappy. There's unknown situations that are causing you to not put action or affection into things here. I do feel like there's also a conflict with family, friends around you. You're not putting energy into it, period. That's also what I'm hearing. There's um, a financial, like, this fe feminine energy is trying to focus on their finances, on their foundation here. Someone else is... Um, is stable so one party one party is stable another party isn't one party is trying to figure out okay how am i going to get this for my for my kids this can be a single mother or this can be a person with two children or more I definitely feel like this can also have some type of um, worry, stress. Someone is worried, stressed about a relationship with the imbalance of finances or foundation of home life. This can also be emotional manipulation. Someone could be emotionally manipulating you to stay because of finances or because they don't want you to speak the truth or some type of truth is coming out here, okay, due to someone not, not expressing or due to someone not... Um, the truth, okay, the emperor talks about someone that is, is standing on the truth, saying what they need to... Wait, saying what they need to excuse me so Cappy, whoever you're dealing with i definitely feel like there's new energy around but you're needing to make logical decisions here um you're not you don't have time for energy uh for conflict com for conflict for pain for bullshit for yeah that's really what i heard you don't have time for that you are also seeing things for what it is when it has to do with the imbalance of finances you're also seeing the truth when it comes to emotional manipulation or if this is you worried stress this is you needing to speak up and speak your truth when it comes to this relationship here stand up for what you believe in you guys are going to be receiving divine downloads, dreams, reoccurring messages here. The high priestess, you guys can also be empaths as well. Or someone you're dealing with, this can be like the goddess into a cult, into spirituality, okay? Candle work, spell work. But there's definitely divine messages that you guys can be receiving. You guys can also be booking a one-on-one -on -one reading with me to go further in your love life here. But I definitely feel like you guys are going um, on the right path here. You guys are unhappy with the situation, how something turned out, will of fortune, divine time, divine order takes place. I do feel like you guys have made it decision on whether you should go or whether you should stay or go whether you should continue to communicate with this person or not and you made a decision the truth is coming out so i feel like because um someone is listening to their intuition here is really what i'm feeling someone is listening to their intuition this leo energy or someone is not happy with how things are going okay the will of fortune reverse i feel like someone expected something to happen one way and it's happening a whole nother way here but it's it's happening so that you could be led to truth or led to some type of truth here libra energy so some of you some of you guys can be dealing with you could have a libra moon libra rising or this is them all right um let me get one more card okay so yeah automatically uh cappies i'm just getting that you guys are needing to listen to your intuition here um because there's you're you guys are getting your finances you guys are getting um there's plans that you're trying to work out or trying to have here but i feel like it might be some type of delay because there's blessings that needs to be seen in a relationship okay i feel like um, you guys, either you or both of you are focused on your finances or money here. And there's a need for you guys to focus on love for emotional stability. So I feel like money is not going to bring this relationship together. Emotions, love is going to bring this relationship together. All right. So peace, love, and like Ashe. If you're wanting the book, one of my one-on-one -on -one sessions, you can go ahead and email me. Ashe, guys.